Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out what is death. Powerful speech by Sheikh Ahmed Suleiman Khatani. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The only reference to death that pops into my mind after reading the Quran is that to him you shall be returned. To our Lord we shall be returned. So after this life we will return to God. This is all I know about the Islamic perspective on death. So with no further ado, let's have a look. From water, Allah brought this insan into existence. And then after living, Suddenly, moth comes upon him. It is great to see that they have a translation this time around. As I said in previous videos, as a non-Arabic speaker, it is always useful to actually have subtitles. What is moth? What is death? There also science has tried to answer. 200 different theories they have as to what is death. Death is this. Death is this. Death is this. Death is this. Sure. And all 200 are wrong. <laughs> what Quran has said is the reality. Allahu yatawaffal anfusahina mawtiha. When Allah takes the ruh of this person away, that is the time his death occurs. Ali radiallahu ta'ala said, al maut laysa minhul fawt. Death, you cannot escape it. In aqamtum lahu akhadakum. If you will oppose it, it will overpower you. Wa in farartum minhu adrakakum. And if you run away from it, it will find you. Yes, death will find you either way. If you try to escape it, if you try to run away from it, it will burden you on a daily basis. It will always come back to you. Run, run wherever you want. But on its appointed time, that death will find you, even if you're in a fortified fortress. Yes. لو كانت الدنيا تدوم لأهلها لكان رسول الله فيها مخلد. If this world was going to allow anyone to live forever, then Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم would not have drunk from the cup of death. كل نفس ذائقة الموت. Every nafs will taste death. If you want to know the reality of this life, then go into the Qabristan. Go and look at those desolate graves. Go and see who is buried there. The same politician and the same governor and the same minister and the same ruler who when he used to walk, people would say, move out of his way, move out of his way. Somebody great has come. When he would move, he would move in a cavalcade of limousines. What is his situation today? His body has become the food of insects. And those insects have been eaten by other insects. Understand the reality of this life. That moth is coming. That death is coming every day that cover is calling out. Anabaytu dood, anabaytu dhulma, anabaytu wahda, anabaytu wahsha. I am the home of insects. I am the home of loneliness. I am the home of worms. I am the home of darkness. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Every Powerful. one of us will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much longer are we going to revel in this worldly life? We don't know. Does insan think that it is just this life and it ends here? No. Ya ayyuhan nas, inna wa'ad Allahi haq, fala tagurrannakum al-hayatu al-dunya, wa la yagurrannakum billahi al-gurur. O people, the promise of Allah is haq. What promise? What promise? Minha khalaqnakum, wa fiha nu'idukum, wa minha nukhrijukum taratan ukhra. From dust you were created, till dust you will be returned, and once again we will resurrect you. The promise is death. That's what old Quran takes. Qul ee wa rabbi innahu lahaq. La tuba'athun. You will be raised up, and you will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much more musti are you going to make on this earth? How much more are you going to continue to defy the command of your Allah? How many more Ramadans are going to fall on deaf ears? How many more Ramadans do you have guarantee you are going to live for? How many more Laylat al Qadrs are you going to be able to search for? That once the Hilal of Eid is sighted, you return back to where you were before. That when that Mubarak come, month comes, 
Then you cover up those shaitan boxes. And then you take those DVD plays and those MP3 plays and put them away. And once the Hilal of Eid is cited, once again it is back to that same cycle. Where are you going to find peace? Where are you going to find solace? This humanity, my respected brothers, is in a loss. People are looking for peace. The heart is restless. That heart which has not recognized Allah. That heart which is not breathing with the love of Allah. That heart which is not beating with the love of Allah. That heart which doesn't know ta'alluq with Allah. That heart is a restless heart. This whole humanity is bare chain. They are searching for peace. Searching for peace in women, in zina, in the scenery of this world, in the ringing of coins, in music. Where are our youth? Where are our youth? What they say, music is food for the soul. The voice of shaitan, which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and what he said was... This is a very powerful video. Usually I do not like the shaykhs that are screaming a lot, but his delivery, his timing of the speech I find impressive, and it brings across the message quite impressively. ...haq will cause hypocrisy and nifaq to grow in your heart like how water will cause a plant to grow. So that when the time of your moth comes according to some ulama, you will not be able to recite kalima. That haram, not only are you doing, you bring your children onto it also. Stay away from this and what will Allah give you? Inna Allah ta'ala la yuhi ila shajaratil jannah al isma'i ibadi alladheena shagalu anfusahum bidhik anil ma'azifi wal qaynaat bidhikri fatusmi'ahum bi aswatin ma sami'a al insu wal jinnu mithlaha wa qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aydan ma min abdin yadkhulu al janna illa wa yajlisu inda ra'sihi wa inda rijlayhi thintayn min al hur al ayn tughanniyanihi bi ahsani sawtin sami'ahu al insu wal jinn aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that ummati of mine, who when the music blares will cover up his ears, will not listen to the haram music of this world. In Jannat, Allah will command two hoors to sit at his head, two hoors will sit at his feet. The trees of Jannat, the leaves of Jannat will be commanded, now play music. Play music. These women whose voices are such that if a dead man had to hear her, hear her he would come to life. If a living person had to hear her, his liver would split as a result of joy. If she had to spread the waters of the oceans of the world will become sweet, she will start singing, and the trees will start singing, and the birds will start singing. The Ahsani Sotin Samiahul Inswal Jin, such a beautiful and a melodious orchestra will occur in Jannat for this Jannati that no insan or jinnat has heard the like of it. Come unto the obedience of your Allah. How long are you going to continue running away from your Allah? How long are you going to continue to make war with your Allah? That is truly what is going on within the human condition. If you look at the stories of Iblis within the Islamic context, the Satan, the devil, he was the first rebel. He rebelled against God's will. And this is why this rebellion still permeates throughout our existence. We are in a constant rebellion against God, atheist or not, even so-called believers. We are all in a constant rebellion with God if we don't accept him for what he truly is, if we don't accept the isness of things, the way that things are. Every single time we critique something within this creation, we are rebelling against God. Every single time we don't show gratitude, we are rebelling against God. Every single time we think we know something better, every single time we are arrogant, we are rebelling against God. They are searching for that inner peace, searching in music, Searching in haram, searching in riba, searching in the scenery and attractions of this world, searching in sharab, searching in the dens of vice, searching in gambling. They will never find it there. Never. Bring one person, bring one person who is in masyid, who in the dead of the night breaks the command of Allah and his heart is at ease. Bring one person who is rebelling in haram and can claim that he has peace of the heart. Wallah! 
<laughs> Absolutely not. And this is why you see in so many modern day movements that shall not be mentioned anymore on social media. Otherwise, you get your channel deleted. In certain movements, you see behavior that is permissible within their own worldview, but nobody is truly happy. You see idle rates absolutely exploding within those movements. Why is there no peace? Why is there no contention within those hearts? If it is also right what they are doing, why do they still suffer then? Why do they have to take drugs, use alcohol in order to cope with those urges? You will not find one person shows the service of God. Go to those millionaires who have earned their millions in haram and see if their heart is at ease. You will not find a single person. Because if you find one person who in Masyid, who in Haram, has peace of heart and peace of mind, then my respected brothers, the kitab of my Allah will be wrong. And Wallah, my Allah's kitab is not wrong. Allah! Allah! Allah calls out. Listen, O oh people of Masti. O oh people who have arrogance over their wealth. O oh people who are hankering after this world. O oh people who are destroying the akhirat of their children by making them like the Yahud and the Nasara. O oh the people who are following the fashion of the West. Allah, listen. Allah, hearken. Put up your ears. Bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. Only in the dhikr of my Allah. Only in the obedience of my Allah. Only in falling down before Allah. Only in running back to Allah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Come back to your Allah. In that taluk, in that association, in that link, in that nisbat, tatma'innul qulub, you will only find peace there. You will never find it anywhere else. All right, and this is it for today's video. As you can see, I started at bright daylight and now it's already dark here. So we're going to cut it off. The video ends there anyways. I found the speech quite powerful and a great reminder of our own temporary status here on this world. We are not going to be here forever. Our flesh will decay. As he said correctly, we will be eaten by worms. Those worms will be eaten by other insects. It is a cycle. We are not here here forever. God, on the other hand, is eternal. He is the ultimate truth. To him we shall be returned. On him we shall focus. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support my work, especially against this censorship here on this platform, then please check out the links in the description box. We have Patreon and other ways to support this channel. All right, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.